Should I offer additional services to my ad management business? That's something I hear quite often in my inner circle, and that's what we're going to be talking about today in this episode of Online Confidential, where I take you behind the scenes of secret ad manager business. You've got ad clients on board, that's awesome. Now inevitably, you're gonna get a few requests that are gonna be like, could you just do me a landing page or can you just hook up my email integration? Or what about bots? Bots are doing great I hear. Maybe we could use a bot. Now, that's all great ideas. And inevitably, yes, that does happen when you're running someone's ad. There's all these other pieces that can go with being an ads manager. But you need to decide, one, if you do want to provide that service, and if you do, uh, make sure you charge additional, okay? It's not part of your ad management services. Your ad management services are this, and this is what they've signed up for. And any additional work will be quoted at whatever. So if you do have a client that's reaching out and they say, oh, could we just add this? Oh, could we just get a funnel? Could we just, you know, do the emails? Say, yeah, great. Yeah, we, I'd be happy to look at that for you. I'll just put together a proposal for you and we'll see from there okay so make sure you are charging extra for it because it is going to take you more time it'll take you time off your other client accounts or um, time away from your family to get this done okay and it could be worthwhile if you're getting paid well for it that's absolutely fine but then you could also outsource somebody else who it is their zone of genius and get them to do it as well so you've got to make sure that You protect yourself, you protect your business, you protect your boundaries and say, yes, this is an additional service. We can have a look at that for you. But do you even want to go there? Because a lot of these other um, additional things that you could be tacking on to your ad management services, they require a good level of expertise and skill. For example, bots. Yes, bots are hugely popular, but there are so many compliance issues with them. I keep getting bots messages from people who are in the marketing space and who should certainly know better their bots are not compliant and they're on their way to bot jail okay facebook is cracking down and putting a lot of businesses you know stopping their messenger services because they have been not compliant uncompliant (laughs) and so that's not something that you want to be doing running bots for clients and you don't exactly know the compliance and their bot gets shut down so you need to consider um, what's your expertise like do you want to add that on do you want to learn and be proficient in that as well as another thing to offer that as a service there are obviously a lot of complementary things when it comes to ad management okay obviously funnels building a funnel and running ads those two go hand in hand people have their funnels they have their websites and they need to get traffic to it so that is a very complementary one It takes time to build a funnel for sure, but you can get pretty proficient in it pretty quickly. But again, you just need to make sure that one, you either have the capacity or the time to be able to do that. Or if you know someone or you can outsource it to someone or subcontract to someone who can do that for you. Because all these different areas will take you away from your zone of genius, which at the moment is being an ads manager is knowing the latest news in the ads front and doing all that you can to make your clients' campaigns work, liaising with your clients, looking at the data, looking at the reporting, learning, continually learning about ads and what might be happening, what the shifts are on the platform this week or even today and how you can um, turn things around for them. And being a guide to your client as well, okay? Sharing those things that you're learning here as an ad manager, as a specialist in running ads, to bringing that information back to your client. And it would be like, look, we're getting some great click-throughs to the page. All this is working really well, but people just aren't opting in. And after having a look at the page, I've been considering that, okay, the messaging and what we're using in the ad copy and what the offer is all about is getting lost. And so that's why people aren't opting in because the messaging on the page isn't reflecting the ad and it isn't reflecting the offer. So it's that insight that you can bring when you're skilled as that Facebook ad manager and you're really dialing in to own that zone of genius 
that sets you ahead and apart from the crowd, okay? It turns you from someone who is just being a generalist and doing this and this and, you know, and another one will be like, oh, can you um, oh, do my social media posts as well, okay? So, you know, if that's your zone, if that's what you like to do as well, then you can consider doing it. But just remember, it's going to be distracting you from that zone of genius of being an ads manager and from being an ads manager that can charge premium prices. Okay, so that's a few things to consider. And remember, it is your business. Just because your clients might want this, this, this or this, it doesn't mean you need to provide that service. And by providing it, it could be stretching you thin in so many ways. So focusing in on your lane and just doing what works for you and for your business, it's okay to say no to a client. It's okay to say, that sounds like a great idea. Um, unfortunately, I can't help you with that, but I do know someone who can. Okay, there's no drama in that. It, your clients will have much more respect for you doing that rather than saying yes and taking everything on board and then not being able to manage it all. So take those things into consideration. Yes, it's fine to provide the additional services, but what's it going to cost you? Can you afford to do it the time that you need to commit to your family and to your other clients? Um, do you have the expertise to be able to do it? And you do want to learn it. Like, for example, if they want you to do YouTube ads as well, um, you can say, that sounds like a great idea. Um, I don't know YouTube ads, but if you're willing, I'm happy to learn on your account. <laughs> OK, and they could say, yeah, OK, that sounds great. Better than me learning how to do them. Just the main things is. Is that what you want for your business and does it reflect and fit your lifestyle? Okay, if not, feel free to say no. Um, if it does, feel free to say yes. It's your business, that's the beauty of it. This is your choices and you know, that's the, the pros and cons of being your own boss, that you can make your own decisions and work from home and have a dog bark in the background. <laughs> So I hope you found that useful today and that when a client might ask you for an additional service, remember, if it's not part of your ad management agreement, then it is additional and you'll just say, yeah, sure, that sounds great. I can get you a price for that and we'll look at getting that together for you. OK, so it's not part of your ongoing ad management services. It's additional. And if you don't want to do it, if you don't have time, if you don't have the capacity, because if you say yes to something else, you're saying no to other things. OK, and what is it that you're saying no to? It's your business. Create the business and the life that you love. I hope you found that useful today. If you want any more information on being an in-demand ad manager, head over and grab my guide at jodymillwood.com forward slash guide. And uh, I share with you the secrets that I've learned going from $12 an hour to seven figures and why being an ad manager right now is one of the best skills and um, career opportunities that you can get into. So that's it for me today. I'm Jody Millwood. I'll see you next time.